She hates me. She's disappointed. I could see it in her eyes when we met. I've got to stop sweating. Oh, she looked at my hairline. She thinks I'm bald. She's thinking I would never in a million years sleep with this guy. We think you're great. Oh, thanks. Wow, that's, that's nice to hear. To begin, coffee would help me think. Coffee and a muffin. I'm going up to Santa Barbara this Saturday, and I, I was wondering... Oh. I'm sorry. So I'll just be right back with your pie then. Drum roll, please. I'm gonna be a screenwriter, like you. I'm putting in a chase sequence. So the killer flees on horseback, cops after them on a motorcycle. And it's like a battle between motors and horses, like technology versus horse. Susan, we would really like to option this. You wanna make it into a movie? <laughs> I want to know what it feels like to care about something passionately. John LaRoche is a tall guy, sharply handsome. The book has no story. There's no story. Make one up. Okay, we open with LaRoche. No, we open at the beginning of time. Okay, we open with LaRoche. Crazy white man. We open on Charlie Kaufman. Fat, bald, ugly, paces. No! I've written myself into my screenplay. That's kind of weird, huh? I guess we thought that maybe Susan and LaRoche could fall in love. I just don't want to ruin it by making it a Hollywood thing. It's like I don't want to cram in sex or guns or car chases or characters overcoming obstacles to succeed in the end. She's crying. What's she hiding from? I think you actually need to speak to this woman to know her. People find love. People lose it. Every day, someone somewhere takes a conscious decision to destroy someone else. Who's gonna play me? Oh, I'm like I think I should play me. Under pressure, 